in combat, this build can deal a great deal of damage because of the synergy between Killing Spree and Hunter Instinct, in which the former improves critical hit chance and the latter improves the critical hit damage. All in all, I love playing this build. I have multiple options of dealing against enemies. Hello guys! If you are new to my channel, this is Genuine Gaming, and welcome to my series of Witcher 3 builds. In this video, I present to you my Alchemist build. Core of the build In this build, Geralt, who is a Witcher, loves to oil his blades, creates bombs, and brew potions and decoctions. In his dedication of learning the art of alchemy, he has learned to induce poison in the oil that he applies in his blades. His oil is so efficient that the oil he applies to his blades do not wear off. He is quite resourceful in creating bombs, as to be able to make more bombs than usual. His potions and decoctions are effective that the effects last longer than usual. For the reason that he is accustomed of drinking potions and decoctions, he has gained a heightened tolerance to the toxin effects of such potions and decoctions, to the effect that he is revitalized every time he drinks potions and more vigorous in fighting monsters. These are the abilities of the build. Alchemist Skills Heightened Tolerance 5 points Increased Potion Overdose Threshold by 75% to 100%. Potion duration time plus 25%. This ability would allow you to take potions without being scared to hit toxicity threshold. Without this ability, when Geralt's toxicity level surpasses the threshold, Geralt will receive damage over time until his toxicity level is within the threshold. Poison Blade 5 points. Oil applied to the blades give a 15% chance of poisoning the target in each hit. Potion duration time plus 25%. This would add to the damage that Gerald can deal with his sword. Acquired Tolerance 3 points. Every gnome level 1, 2, and 3, formula increases maximum toxicity by 1. Potion duration time plus 15 percent without this ability Geralt's maximum toxicity is 100 with 100 toxicity you can drink one decoction and one potion with this ability depending on how many formula you are able to learn Geralt can gulp down two or even three decoctions at once protective coating five points Adds 25% protection against attacks from the monster type the oil targets. Portion duration time plus 25%. Refreshment 5 points. Each potion imbibed heals 25% of maximum vitality. Potion duration time plus 25%. This is a way of healing yourself in combat. That is why. There is a need to increase your maximum toxicity so that if you are low in health, you can just consume any potion to heal yourself and at the same time make Geralt stronger in combat. Fixative 3 points Blade oils do not wear off. Potion duration time plus 15%. This is for convenience so as not to go to your inventory and reapply the oil during combat every time your oil application expires. Efficiency 5 points Increases maximum number of bombs in each slot by 5. Potion duration time plus 25%. More bombs means more options in fighting enemies. You can also use bombs for your range attack. Healing Spree, 5 points. If potion toxicity is above 0, each opponent killed increases the chance for a critical hit by 50%. Potion duration time plus 
If you're constantly toxicated, why not add an effect to it? This is a great ability. Hunter Instinct When adrenaline points are at their maximum, critical hit damage against the targeted enemy type is increased by 100%. Potion duration time, plus 25%. Hunter Instinct synergizes well with Killing Spree ability. Optional Skills The following skills are optional to the build. I made it so as to make the build your own. If you love a more combat build, you can put combat skills here. If you love using signs like me, you may do so. If you want Gerald to be more efficient with the alchemy, you can add alchemy skills in this slot. As for my case, this is how I assigned the last three ability slots. Sign skills. Melt armor, 5 points. Dealing damage with Igni also permanently weakens enemy armor. Effect scales with sign intensity up to a maximum of 75%. Stamina regeneration in combat plus 2.5 per second. Igni, aside from dealing fire damage, now weakens your enemy. Exploding Shield, 3 points. Quan Shields pushes opponents back and deal damage when it breaks, with a chance to knock down. Stamina Regeneration in Combat, plus 1.5 per second. This is for additional defense. Fire Stream, 3 points. Alternate Sign Mode emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Stamina cost is reduced by 50%. Stamina Regeneration in Combat, plus 1.5 per second. This is another option for dealing damage to enemies. If you have difficulty of hitting enemies with your blades and bombs, this alternative Ignis Sign mode might help. Another idea is that adding cluster bombs as part of your arsenal. This gives the capability of your bomb upon detonation to separate into explosive fragments. It increases up to 6 fragments. Gameplay Before engaging in a combat, Geralt drinks appropriate decoctions and potions for the encounter, applies the appropriate oil to his blade, casts Quen. It is only after everything is prepared that he engage in combat. If his Quen breaks off, he backs off a bit and waits for the stamina to regenerate. As he waits for his stamina to regenerate, he can throw bombs to his enemies. Tawny is a useful potion to accelerate stamina regeneration. For his gears, he is using the Orsine set. This is for the bonus and additional adrenaline point gained when using the Orsine swords, so that it will quickly activate Hunter Instinct ability. Orsine armor is a heavy armor set. This would mean that you have high armor but your stamina regenerates very slow. This is why you have to back off if your Quen is broken. Anyway, you have many bombs to throw at your enemies while waiting for your stamina to be full. Afterthought This build is versatile. This is due to the number of decoctions and potions available for Geralt in the game. If you want a Geralt with high critical hit chance, you just drink the Katakan decoction. If you want a tanky Geralt, you can drink the Griffin decoction, and so on and so forth. However, this build is difficult to develop because you only have few known potions for Gula in the early level. It is only around level 20 that you have learned more potions. In combat, this build can deal a great deal of damage because of the synergy between Killing Spree and Hunter Instinct in which the former improves critical hit chance and the latter improves the critical hit damage. All in all, I love playing this build. I have multiple options of dealing against enemies. So, I also hope that you will love this build. And if you do, click the thumbs up button and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Ciao!